Hey everybody and welcome back. As you can see here, I have the Luke Skywalker in Jedi Knight outfit from the, I believe it was the second to last wave, or maybe it was, yeah, I think it's the second to last wave of this uh, new uh, vintage uh, collection with Star Wars. Now, um, actually I have two of these and they're slightly different. Let me go ahead and show you. They made two releases of this figure, and uh, the first one, which has the uh, free Boba Fett sticker on it, was uh, slightly inferior to the second one, mostly because it had a lightsaber without a peg on it, so it could not be attached to his belt. There was no hole in his belt, so um, they uh, improved it in this later one. So, as you can see here, he does have a hole in his belt and there's a peg on a lightsaber. What's interesting, though, is uh, at the same time they reissued the figure or revised it, they changed the packaging. But for some reason, I managed to get one with the old packaging, which shows Luke in Jabba's palace. The newer packaging has a scene of Luke Skywalker being captured by Darth Vader from Endor. So, I'm actually going to keep this one carded just in case this is a, a rare variant. I'm not sure. Um, but all of the subsequent figures, oh, the subsequent uh, Luke Skywalker and Jedi Knight outfits I've seen have had the indoor packaging. It, but the exact same figure with the same peg on the lightsaber and so forth. So, um, being that this is the uh, more common of the two, I'm going to open this one with the free Boba Fett sticker. Now, um, taking a look at the art, we see that uh, this is uh, the wrong scene, actually. He's wearing his glove, which was after the uh, battle on the skiff barge, and he has handcuffs, which uh, were not applicable to this scene right here. On the back, they show that uh, the original Luke Skywalker, which is uh, this figure right here, and... Uh, Taking a look at this one, this was the original Kenner figure. He did come with a uh, soft goods cloak, a lightsaber, and a uh, pistol from Jabba's palace, which he stole from one of the guards. Um, removing the cloak, you see it's a pretty good figure. Uh, one of the, I think one of the better ones from the Kenner line. It has the, uh, the better lightsaber, not the telescoping one, the one that's removable. And he has a gray blaster that he picked up from... Uh, from Jabba's palace. He's already wearing the glove, which was a little bit inaccurate, but then again, that made the uh, figure less scene specific for uh, at that time. Still, I think it was a good figure. The only other figure that came out from Kenner, let me get it real quick. Around, let's see. Okay, sorry about the wait. Okay, I wanted to show you this one. Uh, this is the other version of Luke Skywalker in a Jedi Knight outfit that came out from Kenner. And he um, has the uh, same blaster, except it's molded in black. He is wearing his glove. It's a slightly different uh, mold, as you can see, but quite similar. He has a um, permanently molded cap on, but he has a removable poncho and belt. Um... Made the figure, it kind of looks ridiculous when you take the poncho off. But these are the uh, the two Luke Skywalkers from Return of the Jedi and the Jedi Knight outfit. Or in a variation of it. So, just to take a look at that. Basically, what uh, Hasbro should have done was made a figure more like this to match this scene. So, um, realizing that. And I have to point out that there was a lot of uh, mistakes on this wave. They have changed the packages since, since then. Uh, the only other version I have of this figure came uh, um, that I have uh, is included in this battle pack, the battle above the Sarlacc, and um, I, I really like this one. It's got uh, Boba Fett, um, a skiff guard, Lando, Han, and you can see an earlier version of Luke right here. Um, I actually like this one too. And what I like about it is, you know, he's not wearing his glove. He's This is a good scene-specific figure. And it was pretty good. I, I haven't taken it out. But uh, I think this is a good one. I, actually, I like this whole battle pack. So uh, this is one of my favorites. 
Anyway, let's move on to the figure now and go ahead and review it. Okay. Now, as we said, we're going to open this one right here with uh, with the free Boba Fett sticker on it. So, uh, let's go ahead and see how this figure is. Okay, it comes with the free Boba Fett offer redemption certificate right here. Okay, and uh, it looks like you can just pop Luke out of the plastic here. Now, like I said, this is the more this is the inferior one. This one does not have a peg for the lightsaber, but still, let's adjust the camera a little bit. Let's go ahead and. Um, Go over the articulation here. Okay, this so far, um, these stands are just not the best, are they? Okay, so far, I like this figure. I really do. It just feels when you when you hold this figure, this really feels like the articulation just kind of jumps out at you. This one is very articulated. And um, I watched another review, and I was excited uh, to find out that he's supposed to have some special articulation in the wrists. Let's see if I can figure it out here. Ah, I see. Yes, he does have uh, really good articulation in the wrist to uh, make this effect here, where he could hold his lightsaber somewhat straight. Uh, that is a really nice touch. This is just, uh, for, as an, uh, another uh, reviewer pointed out, for posability, this is a great figure. So, uh, let's, so let's go over it. It's uh, a ball-jointed neck, although it doesn't move very much. Um, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, uh, and the wrist are ball hinged, which is really cool. Uh, swivel torso. Ball hinged tips to allow for more movement. Ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So this is a very, very good articulation. This is a very good figure. Um, I mean, that's definitely, that is definitely a good one to pose. Uh, like I said, um, there is no way to attach the lightsaber to his belt, which is kind of a, a drawback, but... They did improve it with later ones, so if you do find one of the more recent ones, you can uh, definitely have th that's been corrected. And uh, all in all, the face sculpt looks pretty good. It looks pretty much like Mark Hamill from Return of the Jedi. And uh, they got the they got his outfit down really good. It's funny um, in the uh, older one, the outfit looked somewhat more Jedi like. I'm not sure. I need to rewatch the movies uh, and see which is more correct. I actually, um, phew, that's interesting. Actually, I think on Jabba's, uh, the on the skiff battle, he was wearing something more like this, like robes. Whereas, and by the time he was captured, he was wearing a black, more like uniform outfit, which is something I never really noticed. But um, all the more that makes this incorrect for that scene. Yeah, I, I actually do think that by the time he was on Endor, he had changed into this more like his officer uniform and out of the Jedi robes. So that's interesting to point out as well. Well, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, so uh, please uh, rate, review, subscribe. And I, I'm going to try to get some more done this weekend. And I'm also going to continue to try to watch and comment on your videos as well. So uh, until next time, bye.